Hello and welcome to another video. This is our 2019 Mitsubishi L200 2.4 DID double cab Barbarian. This has the auto five speed gearbox. It's completed 32,000 miles with full Mercedes, Mitsubishi service history. It's completed three services and the last one was done in January of this year. Now the car is showing two keepers on the logbook, but it's actually one owner. The gentleman uh, bought it out of his company as he's retired and therefore the car no longer has VAT either. So uh, all the VAT has been paid and uh, because we've bought it from him privately, the vehicle has no VAT to add to the price. So we're going to take you around the vehicle. Although it's, this is a commercial vehicle, we've still given it the same treatment that we give all our cars. It's all been machine polished. And the first thing I'd like to say is this is in really, really nice condition. I mean, most of these commercials get used quite heavily, but this has been really sort of used as a sort of a work, um, you know, it's just traveling to work and just putting a few bits in the back. It hasn't had any heavy use. The Barbarian, I believe, is the top of the range. And you've got this lovely sort of chrome, but it's like a smoked chrome grill at the front. LED lights in there as well. Day, uh, day running lights. There are minimal little chips on the bonnet. We're under very bright lights in here, and you will just see them as I move around, catch the light where we've just touched. And they're literally like a millimeter of that very minor you see the lovely shine that the vehicle's got it's got these lovely flared wheel arches as well the barbarian comes with quite a lot of kit but i believe that the wheels are an extra obviously the canopy on the back or the i don't know if it's a truckman but we'll call it that for the sake of the video uh, it's got opening windows on the sides as well the wheels were an upgrade. It's got the BF Goodrich all-terrain tires with plenty of meat on there. Really nice side steps. They're, they're very deep and it makes it very easy to stand on the side of them or on them so you can get up. And we've got a roof rack at the front and then on the back, on the hard top, we've got the back. We do have another set of bars they are a different design to the bars at the front and we've taken them off but they will come with the vehicle i just thought it looked better without the ones on the back we've got these lovely covers around the door handles here see barbarian there we've got keyless entry with a little black button on the door handle just look down the side of this vehicle Look how straight it is. There's no dents in it. Almost unheard of on vehicles like this, but even on that filler cap, look how well it's finished. And then all the back windows are also like a smoked privacy. And you can see that the back windows here open out. All up on the roof, there's no, there's no nasty damage up on the top there. Um, you get a little bit of festering on the black under here, which seems to be quite common. But no, nothing nasty up on there. We've had a good look when we dusted it off for the video. All of the wheels were in lovely condition. Nice chrome work around the rear lights. All of the back bumper and the step, there's no marks on there at all. Got rear camera. You see, there's no scuffing on here at all. Very tiny bit of, well, I say tiny, like little tiny dots on here. I think it's just where it pickles on the on the, the fiberglass or something. And then this pulls down and opens up. This, by the way, all works off the central locking as well. 
Uh, sorry, more of the tailgate works off the central locking, and and sorry, and the hard top does. Yeah. And already nice around here. Now in the back, he had some carpet and some plywood that he'd sort of taped in around the edges to protect the tray. And you can see that the tray isn't scored or damaged or nasty or anything. Now those windows open at the front. We can't get our hand down inside to clean in between the glass there at the moment. I think you'd have to pop the cab the, the rear cab off to do that. But like I say, these back windows open, so if you've got a dog you need to put in the back, you can still open those windows up and get a draft running through. But really nice and clean and tidy. And then that comes up. There's a bit of uh, PTY tape, or oh, um, M3 tape along the top here, which has got little scuff marks, but it's there to protect the paintwork. And that's quite normal. Close that down. Nothing nasty there. And if you look at the rear wing, down the side of the vehicle, the window opener, just bring you up on the top and walk forward. And then the doors. No damage on the side steps, the wheels, the wheel arches, all in really nice condition. I'm just going to move out so you can get a better profile from the side. Really nice looking vehicle. And a bit more power than some of the others on the market. Front wheel arch and the wheel. So we'll take a look inside. Just give you a view from this side as well. Now the inside is actually quite special as well on these Barbarians. We've got the darker and lighter gray with black gloss and a, an uprated sound system with extra speakers. The Barbarian lettering there all lights up in blue. There's lights in the back, lights just under here. And then look at these lovely comfy seats embossed with Barbarian in the back. And the center armrest as well. No nasty wear on there. Cup holders, full drive selection. And then all of the media, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Do need to make sure on a lot of these vehicles that have Android Auto and CarPlay that you have a good quality lead to connect to. Otherwise, it, uh, they don't connect up very well. Got heated seats, got two USBs uh, ports and uh, an HDMI port as well. Paddle shift, just noticing there. We're just coming to the back now. And the door card on this side, all in really nice condition. All of the seals, the seats, you can see the lighting there that lights up. So it looks really cool at night. The backs of the seats. And your headrest, centre armrest, and quite importantly, it's got Isofix points in the back as well. Okay, so let's come round to the other side. Take a look in the driver's side rear. Door card, all in lovely condition. 
some very, very minor, not really anything, but just want to point them out. All the, importantly, all the speaker covers and that are all in perfect condition. They're not broken. No one's put their foot through them or anything, which you sometimes get. And then again, if you just look at the seal, all the way around, it's, it's really clean. I was very tempted to have this vehicle for my own, or for myself, I should say. But I've just bought uh, a Toyota Hilux, so it's a sort of a conflict. But maybe you should phone and inquire soon in case I change my mind, because the more I look at it, the more I sort of think, wow, this is a lot of car. Let me just turn those lights off. And again, driver's door card. Yeah, unfortunately the Hilux doesn't have the, uh, the hardback, which I always like the sort of look of the pickup truck look without them. But then when you start using one, the practicality of having the, uh, the, the back on there, you start to realize is actually very handy. Now we've got uh, various different options in here, but what we're gonna do first, we're gonna pop the bonnet, and I'll say it so Dan can come round and pop the bonnet for me. Thanks, Dan. So this is the engine bay, all nice and clean. See the big turbo on the top there, nice and accessible. And the DID common rail engine. What common rail is, for those who don't know, the fuel rail that feeds each of the cylinders on say the early Volkswagens, they had each injector was also a pump, but common rail means you have a fuel rail that has one pump. So it's a pressurized system and it feeds all of the injectors and therefore it's called a common rail. All nice and clean under there. So let's pop this down. Always good just to bring it down and pull. That's heavy. And drop it the last 12 inches so it falls down neatly. Okay, let's, uh, let's go inside the car. I've got the key in my pocket, yeah. So we've got electric seats. All of the bolsters on the seat and all of the leather really nice and clean. So let's just jump in. Is that what we'll do? Starter up, that's oh, keyless start just down here. There we go. And if I can work out how you bring the mileage up, source. Oh no, we turn that off, we don't want music. Uh, let's just try and get the volume down there it is that's uh, okay right I'm trying to remember I think there we go 32,678 miles and we'll pop the lights on we've got uh, Lane detection warning. So if you move over the white lines, the vehicle will shake, the, the, the steering wheel will shake basically. Sorry, I'm not used to, but let me just put these lights on so we can light up the interior a bit better. We've got the folding mirrors just down here as well. And then over here, we've got the touch screen 
all the app. We haven't got a phone connected, but basically you plug into one of the ports down here. You've got a USB here, an HDMI, and then another USB there, the heated seats. Once you've plugged your phone in, it will link up onto the screen on here. I'm just gonna show you some of the options up here. The HDMI cable, Bluetooth audio, etc., And then um, your telephone, iPod. And when you go into the settings, you've got these settings for the phone. You can flip through here, sound, etc. But I'm gonna keep this video quite straightforward. Up on the top here, we've got source. That will actually do the display over here. So I flick through the different media, volume buttons, telephone buttons, cruise control, sorry, there it is. And uh, big paddles to flip through the gears. You've got the gear selection. Try not to get my legs. It's really muggy and hot today. So I've got shorts on and no one wants to see my legs. So there's your drive system. And then here is the four wheel drive system. So you've got two, two wheel drive high, four wheel drive high, four high, I don't know if that's for lock or, or low. And uh, the other one there, but if you phone up and want to know, I'll look it up in the book. We've got cubby hole under here. Like I say, this isn't uh, a vehicle that I'm over familiar with. We've got all the books in there, and then we've got the service book on the side, which I am going to show you. But the vehicle is so... Let me show you these lights down in here. Everything is in really beautiful condition. Nice. Jump out. We've got two keys for the vehicle as well. Just gonna bring you over to the table here where you can see that first service done in 2020 at 12,634 miles. And then in February, 2021, 22,908 miles. And then in January of this year at 30,217. So it's just done a couple of thousand miles since the last service. Get it back in focus. So hopefully the video has been very informative. Um, that's the idea of it. As I say, if you've got any questions on the vehicle, please phone up and ask and I'll do what I can to answer them. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Remember, there's no, no VAT on this vehicle. So uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.